Hey guys, it's Bear here. Today we're going to be playing some Diego into Hecarim. I'm going to be showing you guys how to play against a full clear jungler and also manage to play without a frontline on your team as Diego. I mean, it's kind of hard playing without a frontline, but this game is going to be a really good game to show you guys how to sort of deal with no frontline because it's uh, not the end of the world. It definitely sucks, it's not the end of the world. So we're just going to stack here, make sure they don't come in lane invade. I mean, they can be going to my top camps too. I'm gonna go walk over there. <coughs> but we kinda wanna keep this game simple. We have Caitlyn, Zyra, Bali, and we're gonna path down. They're gonna be really strong on the bot side, so we wanna go show them some love. I gotta be a little careful here, but should be good. Nice. So we're gonna full clear down. Now, top lane cannon, we wanna kill him if we can. Uh, but ultimately, we don't have to. We wanna like hump their bot lane. Like, this game is all about destroying the enemy bot lane. If you guys have been keeping up with the recent news, we're out of the NACL split. We ended in fourth place in playoffs. Kind of blows. They got reverse swept yet again, guys. I have a track record of getting reverse swept. Not not happy with it, but it happens. <laughs> I'll be back to committing to streaming and you know more content creation, more Diego gaming, and coaching. So if you guys are interested in getting coached, actually join my Discord down below. But yeah, let's jump back into like focusing on how to how do we win this game. I'm gonna be full clearing here. <clears throat> Against full clear junglers, you don't actually need to feel too pressure to, you know, like gank and you know, break away from what you're doing. Um, sometimes making good ganks helps, but you don't want to overforce. I think that's the number one problem players make is they overforce ganks against power farming junglers. You can't overforce things. It needs to be, you know, calculated plays at the end of the day. Okay, so my Balian's losing trades, which is definitely not ideal. Because in a lane like this, they want to be really, really oppressive. So right now I actually have three lanes of losing prio. So what do you do? Three lanes of losing prio. <clears throat> as unfortunate as it is, you're just going to full clear. Okay, so if you guys ever see a position where top's, top's losing, mid's losing, boss losing, you can just clear camps. Okay, eventually a lane can get better. Like right now, Balin's getting to look a little better. Mid lane looks not bad as well. So you can kind of change the game. Uh, the game kind of changes by itself naturally, as you know, you keep playing. So you can, you know, cash in on that. Or just, you know, just wait. Like pretty much, I'm waiting for a good opportunity to show up. Like right now, that guy's getting fucked right now. But Balin, you know, they're just kind of scary, but. Again, we do want, still want to play towards bot side, so I'm still looking. Mid is in a better position. I want to potentially still look ball in here. If these guys um, go and walk up here, I can go fight and lane with this guy. Oh shit. Alright. Not off to a great start. We did get support gapped here. My, I, I dropped the word behind us, and it didn't really matter, unfortunately. So here, I'm actually going to buy a. Oh, you can't buy Dblade anymore. Oh shit, I'm not. I haven't played on this patch. I'm just buy Reaker bow. Go, Reaker bow. Um, but shit, like we saw it all this coming, and I couldn't really turn on him, and I also like kind of wasted my flash. Mechanically, I could have played that better. It's definitely not ideal. Um. <laughs> We're in a rough spot. Okay, so how are we going to come back from this game? So that's pretty much the name of the game. How do we come back from a shitty position? Well, I can look for a potential top gank. Let's say this guy uses his E here. I can look for a gank. We'll see if he uses his E. There, there, there's his E. So I'm going to drop this pink ward here. We'll see if I can, you know, sneak it on him. If I can't, not a problem. I'll go back to my camps here and... I want to kind of ping where the Nautilus could be now. So Nautilus, or not Nautilus, they're Hecarim. <coughs> so the Nautilus, or not the Nautilus. The, the Hecarim is balling. The Nautilus is balling as well. So they can try and make a play down there. My top condition is not great. The mid condition got actually way worse than before. Given that their Hecarim is really, really strong. And Karma with Hecarim is a pretty scary combo. Top lane condition looks a little bit better. I'm gonna hit this plant here to check on the grubs. But pretty much none of the objectives are really mine, unfortunately. 
Just because of, you know, how much we lost already, their Hecarim's just a little bit too strong, so I'm, I can kind of just chill out. Mid condition looks really good, except for we're gonna get ganked here. He might just be a goner unless he has some certain spells, but he doesn't. So not ideal. This Hecarim's gonna be really, really fed, so... <clears throat> it's not looking too good, but again, in these games where, you know, things just feel like shit, and they're just not going the way you want them to go, the best you can do sometimes is just relax, farm, and play, because they'll make a mistake. It's a, it's a very high chance that at some point they will mess up and you have a way back into the game. So that's kind of what we're hoping. Sometimes they don't make mistakes and they play a really good game and you just lose games. If that's the type of game they're, they're going to be playing here, well, unfortunate and, you know, it happens. But I'm hoping that these guys don't play a perfect League of Legends game, which is really, really hard to do. And we'll have a way back into the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a recall here. Because unfortunately, like, I have a lot of gold and I might as well buy a pink ward here and everything. Kinda sucks, I don't really have too much gold to spend. I don't have like a pickaxe I can buy. But it's okay, I guess. Now, looking at bot condition, we're still not the strongest. But if these guys fight here, uh, Hecarim's level 6 and he's already going down there. So, okay, there's just like nothing we can do here whatsoever. They're, they're just way too strong, unfortunately for us. I mean, Hecarim does not have level 6. because he does not have ultimate because he uses it, but no, he, he made a good play. I'm going to let them get this dragon. And we're going to try and get back into the game as, as best we can. Because although they have, you know, <clears throat> a lot of kills here, Hecarim's 4-0. He will make a mistake. And I'm telling you guys right now, game's not going great. He's a full clear jungler, he's up CS, he's up kills and objectives. But he will make a mistake at some point in this game and we'll be able to capitalize on that. And if he doesn't, well, good for him. He's playing a really good game. And actually this game, now that I look, look, look at it some more, it's most definitely a Kraken Slayer game. I, I shouldn't even be building Fork, so I could be a little stronger. I, I could have bought, you know, new Quiver potentially, or components for new Quiver, but... They're gonna get really cocky this game. Um, they feel strong. They feel like this game is going their favor, which it really, really is. But when that happens, sometimes you just get a little too excited and you make mistakes. And if again, if they don't make mistakes, good for them. Go next game. We're still gonna make the best plays we can, which again, is literally just farm. What, what are we farming for, guys? We're farming for first item. Once we get our Kraken Slayer, that's what we wanna fight. And you see how like, I've died once, and you know, the game's not looking amazing, but I've only died once, and I'm actually really close to my item, even though I don't have any kills, and the game's not going like 100% my way. I'm actually really, really close to this item. So that's sort of the condition we're playing for here. We want to get to first item, ASAP, even though we're really far from it, because we have no kills, no extra gold, but we can still make it because we've been farming very, very well the very least. Okay. So, their mid has full control here. I'm gonna try and dodge a ward. If it's warded in the tri-bush, I'm gonna try and dodge that. I'm going to look to maybe fight here, if we can. Looks good. This guy has no flash here. I can even save my ultimate here. I get this kill. And now we can push this wave together. And again, they get cocky, then they're gonna make mistakes here. I do want to potentially get some plates here. Uh, I, I'm very far from my, from my item, actually. <clears throat> I'm just gonna recall and go to potentially play for grubs. Let's look at top lane, let's see what they use up here. Okay, so that's nothing too much to look at. They didn't use too much there. I'm not sure did Hecarim ult or did Ken ult. Like, ideally, I would ask my teammate here. Ooh, this looks wonderful here. Oh, this looks wonderful. Again, guys, a greedy recall from Hecarim. Mm -mm. You die. Game gets a lot. Game gets a lot harder for him. Bears also has no flash. Let's think about that. It's gonna be 14, like 1350 AD. Let's input that into our brain here. And we only want, you know, two grubs. We don't need all these grubs here. Now it helps, and it's great if we can get them. But I feel like actually we only need two of these grubs here. Ah, 
I'm going to ult away to cancel his ability and like let's just like dip. We don't have to go for we don't have to go for too much more here. If Hecarim gets the th like the fourth grub, like it's actually fine. Like look at look at his items right now. The reason why we have to dip as fast as I decided to earlier is because they're gonna have items and we're gonna be under a lot of danger. So right now, the biggest advantage we have is where it's the bot lane. So the Hecarim, if he's smart, he's gonna go for my Raptors, and I'm not gonna be able to clip him. Like, it's gonna be impossible to clip him. So I'm gonna get my item, and use this timer, as we see Hecarim took my Raptors. We're gonna use this timer to go straight to bot lane, where if he farms his top camps, I actually have a timer to gank bot lane, make a good play, numbers advantage. And again, we're finding opportunities where we are up numbers, so we can come back in this really, really dire game, if possible. <laughs> My, my, my ball lane has vision, he swept through, which is wonderful. The, the Varus already cleared the wave, so it's probably going to be nothing. Let's think about this dragon, potentially. And again, if, if I'm cheesing, not cheesing, if I'm like bush camping with Zyra, I wouldn't necessarily call it cheesing, we can like practically 100 to 0 someone. So let, let me, I'm going to go walk to where Zyra is now. And I'm going to I'm gonna like play with this guy here, because Zyra is actually very, very strong. <coughs> If played around. I'm gonna be in this bush here. So it was it was almost a really really good play, but the guy lived on like one HP. My Caitlyn was too far away to throw a trap down. I mean Caitlyn, we can still work here together. Nice, that guy missed his spell. But we can definitely still work here. Well done, well done. It could have been a little better, it was so close. Again, that guy lived on one freaking HP. It's like, I was a bit clenched there. <coughs> Let's ping the dragon here so we can do it together. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly thinking that we can do the dragon together here. Let's just go pull this. Let's pull this, this dragon here, guys. Yeah, what are we doing here? Well, let's pull the dragon. Now, Hecarim has no ulti, so if they fight this, they're fucked. I saw my ultimate, I'm really strong. And the big thing here, actually, is their Nautilus should not have this warded. And their, yeah, like this guy's gonna face check here. And we're gonna get a pick, just like that. And now we're gonna go play for Herald. <laughs> so again, we're playing, you know, off vision, off pick timers, off you know, just whatever situation, we can sort of just be in a better position. Like, ultimately, that's what we're playing to to do. Now, again, this this guy gets gets ganked. Kind of uh, not ideal, but... Okay, he doesn't get too much here. He can catch his wave. <coughs> so, it was really close to being bad. I get the small ones at the very least, which is, which is okay. Wait, I thought he has no R. Okay, okay. I, I actually thought he had no ult. Whoops. I actually baited my teammate really hard there because I thought he had no ult. So that's just that's just my fault entirely. Alright, so sometimes you make plays that, you know, aren't ideal. Okay, my my bad. Like I, I actually take full responsibility and now now we we're in a position where <laughs> we actually don't have any advantage because my Caitlyn's getting his turret broken and well we're not even able to kill their mid laner here no flash okay let's track that it's important to track 1920 top um all right let's try and recenter here because although we didn't make we made one bad play it doesn't mean the game is over right the game has been already hard to begin with we can for sure just naturally come back in this game if these guys aren't getting the Herald, it's also like so good for us. It's actually so good if they're not getting Herald here. Now we want to go fight Herald ourselves. 
I'm gonna wait here for more treads. So did they change how much Thunder Sky cost? Maybe not. I swear they did. This this thing is uh how much? Eight, 11 fifty. They did. They 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 bumped the price up by fifty gold. So we're too late for Herald, right? So let's just go into the bot side and see if I can get Hecarim's like bot camps, or see if we can like kill their Varus, for example, or maybe even their cannon, right? Their cannon has no flash. If we can possibly kill their whoever's balling, essentially, um, it would be really good for the game. Wonderful. And now we can go into bot side. Okay, now we can go, yeah, now we can go break the spot through it just like that. And now we've gotten ourselves again a position where. Okay, they, they, the Varus, the Varus dropped the mid wave. Come on, he dropped the mid wave to come. I, I should have been a little more observant there. My fault. Like these, these, these deaths that I just had right there. These sometimes can really cost games. They can cost like good positions. I think this case, Varus dropped like, I mean, he didn't really drop much mid, but it's it's like not the worst death uh, because we killed the Karma and we got their bots. Right? So it's not the worst death, but it's definitely not like a smart thing to die there. Whatsoever. So. <clears throat> All right, we have this next dragon coming up, but I think ultimately we should go play for top turret and not this bot turret because they're just they're just stronger than us. Like I want to get this guy's top shut down here. He has no flash. If we can kill their top winner, it'll be like literally like a, a, such a huge turnaround in this game. Your turret is Such huge around, and we can actually still play for um, dragon afterwards here now. Now our Gragas has no TP; he's gonna be really low, so maybe he should just go play for top turret. Honestly, I think because he's so low, top turret is what he should be playing for here. Now my my teammates as a ball, they're actually very strong together. I gotta be a little careful here. They caught someone. Amazing. Again, okay, I brought the Nautilus to mid lane and their Varus, so now we can actually still play for this objective here. Possibly. I want to play with my Hoi here to kill this guy together. I need to work with my teammate here to kill the easy target. And now we don't care about any more kills. We just want this objective. Okay, that's our goal here. If we get this dragon, we are in such good condition where the game is just so good. The game is like so won here. And this guy's a shutdown here actually, so I'm going to look for him. Get his flash. Okay, amazing. Flash for flash here. Very fucking good. Honestly, completely fine to get this guy's flash for my flash. The Kennen, he was a little bit out of position. We maybe could have killed him too. Second Dragon, these guys have been winning the whole game, okay? Not only did this Hecarim have an insanely good early game. He's a full clear champion. He had a bunch of kills. <clears throat> but he also had three winning lanes. But now, because, you know, mid game matters, he's in a position where he's actually the one behind. And we're the ones racing to get, you know, stronger and stronger. So. Every game is winnable, guys. Every game is winnable. Every game is throwable, too. So you can still do this game. Let's focus up. We can't make you know, some terrible mistakes. So let me think about that various flash, actually. It's going to be 23 AD. Let's just think about the various flash here, because the various not having flash is actually really crucial for us to understand that we can probably make a really good play on the various coming up soon. Um, so I want to be with Zyra here. I can come, you know, drop a pink ward here with Zyra. Um, and then we can, you know, check this guy out together. This guy walks up at all. I 
pretty low. It's a two for two. They use some teleports. Uh, I don't want to kind of die pretty much, so I'm just gonna relax and get get my camps and like we're trading gold and pretty much trading gold when you're behind is actually like fine. And also like we're not that far behind. Now I actually think I could have played Cannon a little bit better there. I kind of was too scared. Me like meanwhile they're Hecarim's like face checking me. I kind of played a little too too much fear there, but ultimately like. Ultimately, what I'm doing is fine. Uh, okay, I, I was gonna go look for like a cheese play on that guy, but no, no, I should just recall and just chill and just like relax. You know, spend my spend my gold here, guys, because um, it, it's gonna it's gonna really matter if I have you know just more more stats. Like these stats will literally change so much in this game. All right, now the, the thing is here: do we go for our blue buff? Do we go top side? Like, what do we do? We need to defend. We want to try and defend this turret for as long as we possibly can. So I'm gonna run straight to top side here. And just again, if this Karma tries to clear this pink ward or tries to do anything here, like I'm literally ready to um, run at this guy and just fight him, like again. Um, because this guy, like, clearly he really wants this this top turret. Right, and then we're gonna get another pick here. Now our mid laner is gonna, or not our mid laner, our support's gonna kind of do some intentionally feeding, but it's all good because we're going to be able to get this top turret and <clears throat> that's like uh, still an accomplishment given how this game has been looking now the downside of things here is really just um my, my bot camps are getting eaten but again it's not the end of the world it sucks, but it's not the end of the world. <clears throat> now what I'm doing here is I'm waiting to see if maybe their ADC walks up mid wave and possibly like face checks and, um, and then, kills himself here. But then, doesn't look like that's happening. Not and the chances are looking pretty slim right now. Um, we can as a team get the mid wave together here possibly. Um, <clears throat> looks like we should just get out of here. No, no need to stay here any, any longer than we've already been. Now we have this dragon coming up, so we should probably go contest this dragon together. <clears throat> Our Caitlyn wants to recall. It's a bit early to recall, or a bit late to recall for Caitlyn. So if he's recalling, like maybe it's just too hard to, to fight this, but... No, my Zyra's making space, okay. My Zyra doesn't give a fuck. I respect it. I'm gonna go sit with Zyra. Top laner is fighting. No. I get a pick here. I can escape as well. I have this guy. I've, I, it's a really good look. Beautifully done by my Gragas here with that teleport. That was beautiful. <clears throat> we can possibly look at this guy here. And now let's go do the objective. Let's get this dragon and let's just take a chill game where I just cash in a huge amount of gold. I can get my item. Even though that guy's gotten 8 kills for the early game, you know, a lot of these kills in the early game. Bro, I'm at 8 kills too now. Who's more fed? It's me. I'm the raid boss now, not him. We played for turrets properly, we played for picks, and now we're in a game position where they literally can't do anything, and we're just so powerful together. We're gonna get this mid turret, and then I want everyone to get the fuck out. I am gonna recall, so that's why I'm trying to ping adamantly that, hey guys, we, we best go, because I gotta recall. I really gotta go, you guys. This guy is in a little bit of danger. Yeah, I'm in danger, I'm not sure. We're good, alright. Let's get our Sterax. We're gonna be literally unkillable soon. We're gonna be so, so, so powerful shortly. Alright, our teammates are in a little bit of a aggressive position. Although now I see Karma. She's in a she's in an even more aggressive position than my teammates. Or than the enemy team. So I'm gonna go look at this karma actually. Yeah. 
Okay, so we got a teleport back, which is amazing. I'm going to just take the TP. Take this guy's kill too. And now we can turn this into a little bit more here. Okay, I don't have smite, so let's kind of be a little bit careful here, but <clears throat> it should definitely be a pretty easy sequence because look look at them as they walk in, they're just struggling here. Because they don't have vision of the Baron, I'm pretty much walking at them and threatening them while they don't have any vision. And I don't really know if they can fight us or not because they don't have any vision. Let's go buy more HP. Now, normally I'd say buy Pink War too, but because I'm the hyper carry, actually, this game, where I, you know, not like, like not not anyone on my team is like they're doing all right. They're, they're definitely useful, but no one's like the hyper carry. I'm the hyper carry. I'm not gonna buy Pink Wards. Normally you would because you're trying to siege turrets now. So now we want to play for bot turret and uh, mid turret. But I'm, not, I'm, I'm the hyper carry, so I'm going to spend my gold on some stats. I want us to be together. That's why I'm pinging. Like, we don't need to go top in at all. We need to find out where they are. Now they should get squad wiped here. This guy like gets destroyed by me here too. And their karma teleported too, so now we can go down mid, go down bot. And the game is just really over. Now they Huey played that but are very smart. He knew someone was coming. Unfortunately, my Gragas like did some dilly dallying up top lane, so you know he was so late to the play. But you know we force fights because we have Baron, and now we're making the fight happen. And it's just gonna be a nice, nice, clean, you know, reverse stomp pretty much because these guys don't know how to close games when they have a lead. So don't be like the Tekram guys. Don't get a lead and throw it like this guy did. When you have a lead, you need to know how to end the game. Like it's it's crucial to know how to end the game. So we can do this together here, not a problem, we're so powerful together. Let's get out of here, and let's think about this dragon. Dragon is our next best friend. So I want to make sure my Caitlyn is in a safe spot to recall. I'm going to recall here. Let's go play for dragon, I'm going to get my Sterex. Now I'd argue you can buy pink words. I'm even going to buy a potion here, because it's soul point for us. We're going to be in an amazing, amazing position. We even have the midway bin. Wow, the game just feels... Awesome, I'm up a level in the Hecarim now. I don't even have more CS than him, but I'm up a level. That's just how jungling works nowadays. I have pink wards to establish control with my team. I'm gonna pink ward this right here. We're going to get like conditions here. I missed my flash up, but it's all good. If we get him to 1 HP, now we can go do the objective. If I didn't miss my flash up, that Nautilus should have died, but I completely entered my flash, my fault. But the idea there is you 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 fight them, get them low. When they're low, they can't fight the objective anymore. Like, look, no one can face check anymore because the Nautilus had to recall. So now we're gonna get this dragon. Now we're gonna go siege mid turret. And the game is just like, yeah, the game was really hard early. But you know, you play a smart game where you're not tilted. You're not, you know, crying and upset that your teammates are just dying. Like, I could be flaming my mid laner all game, and he died. One, two, three times. Oh, you're so bad, bro. No, like, just focus up. Try and win the game however you can. The game will be winnable at some point. I promise. So I have Sterex here. So I feel like I am a little bit tanky. <coughs> now, even if I die, my teammates should be able to wipe everyone. I don't even die because my build, again, is so defensive that I'm just just a tank. I'm just such a, just such a fat tank. They can't even kill me. Okay, dodge that. Beautiful. And we can siege a little bit more. And that guy dies. Now we can actually end the game here. 
because the karma didn't tank for that guy. And that's how you beat early game junglers by not even having a good early game, guys. You don't even need a good early game sometimes, and you can still beat them. I and mean, we still need to close this game out. Now we have five people. We can just hit this. The game is over. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Again, for coaching, join the Discord. Hope you guys enjoyed this Viego game. More content coming soon. Love you guys. Peace, peace. I'll see you guys later.